Don't you just hate it when you've got yourself a cutout and you start to have a look at the edges and they are really rough and damaged. They look blurry and uneven. Well, for this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that and how to smoothen your edges to make them look nice and sharp for your next project. First thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to get yourself a selection tool. When it comes to selection tools, there is a lot of options out there. So for example, we're going to be using the object selection tool and the quick selection tool for the video. Now, if you don't see this one in your options, then you will need a newer version of Photoshop because this is a 2020 feature to Photoshop. But if you don't have this one, then don't worry about it. You can always use the quick selection tool. This has been around for some time. Before you start using this tool, make sure that you have a look in the top left corner where the modes are for the tool and make sure that this one is selected, the one that will say add. So this is what lets you edit a selection. And obviously if you want to, this other one will let you take it away. But just make sure that the second one is selected. Same goes for the quick selection tool. You will have a plus and a minus. Make sure it's on the plus and not a new selection. What we're going to be selecting is the sword and the arm. So we pretty much want to left click and drag it out to select this bit right here. Now from the beginning, it won't look very good. So we just have to keep on fine tuning it and making it look better than before. You can hold Alt or Option key and then this will switch it to a minus and then you just reselect that area or deselect it in that case. So deselect that bit and this one as well. We're also going to zoom in by using Alt or Option key and then scrolling up to zoom in. We're also going to take away this bit right here. If it doesn't want to remove and is being very stubborn, then this is when we could switch over to the quick selection tool. And then we could change this one to a minus as well by holding Alt or Option key. And there we go. We've now deselected that area. We're going to add on to here and also down here, deselect this bit here and then take away from here and just keep on readjusting it to make it look as good as possible. Make sure everything is selected. As a quick tip for the quick selection tool, you can decrease the size of the brush by going up here and this will make it more accurate. Once you've got all of your object or item selected, you can then go into either the object selection tool or in the quick selection tool and you'll have something called select subject or you'll have a select and mask. We need to click on here for the select and mask and then this will open up a new window. Yours will be on the right, but I've just moved mine over to the left. We're going to put the opacity to 100%, so we only focus on this bit right here. And then we're also going to use the zoom tool right at the bottom and then just zoom into the edges so we can see them a lot better. If you wanted to, you can hold spacebar and move around. If you're someone with a fast computer, then I would say to leave the real time ticked. But if you're someone with a slow machine, then I would say to untick it. We're going to start scrolling to the bottom and you will see something called edge detection. This is where you want to have open and you also want to have global refinements open. We're also going to go to the view and then we're going to put it on a black and white so we can see the edges a lot better. In order to smoothen the edges, we need to first of all, tell it how much of a radius we want it to focus on. So if we start to increase the slider and let's put it up to five pixels, the edges will now become a little bit more blurry. And this is the distance between how much it will be applied. Next up, we need to focus on the smoothness. And the smoothness is all about making everything look nice and smooth and rounded off. So if we put this on 100, it will pretty much soften and make everything nice and smooth around the edges. And already, as you can see, it's looking a lot better than before. We also need to give ourselves a bit of a feather and for this one, we're going to go with 2.5. Sometimes it will do this, and this is just basically loading. Once you've applied the feather, we can then start to increase the contrast, and this will just sharpen the edges once again. And if we put this on 100, you will notice a massive difference between this and also this. And as you can see, now everything is nice and sharp. Everything is looking really good. If you want to, we can go back to the top, and we can go back into the preview and have a look at it, see what it looks like on a plain layer, or we can have a look on a black layer. Most of the time, there will be a lot of color splashing onto the object or the image. So to fix that, we can go all the way to the bottom and there'll be something called decontaminate colors. This will remove the color fringe from your image. And if we start to tick this, we can then start to set the amount to 
whatever we want and we're going to put it on 100. Now for every image is going to be different so yours might need less or it might need more. Having a look at this the sword is looking a little bit crooked so to fix that what we can do is we can go to the lasso tool right click in here and then we can go to the polygonal lasso tool. Once you've got this one selected we're also going to zoom in a little bit more to make it easier to see. We're going to go back into the polygonal lasso tool and you pretty much want to left click right at the bottom, go all the way to the top, select this bit right here, and then go all the way to the bottom and select that bit as well. To connect it up, you can go back to where you started or you can hold control or command and then left click and then that will connect it up. And this will pretty much re-add onto this image. It may take a while to load, but it now has added that area as well. And yeah, you just want to keep on looking around your image and keep on readjusting the areas. We're going to hold Alt to Option key and then left click, deselect this area right here. And then you can hold Control or Command and then connect it up. There we go, that's that bit done. If you wanted to, you can turn down the opacity and you can see it on the image again and see if you've missed anything. And then finally, you want to go all the way to the bottom and once you've applied everything and you're happy with all your changes, you can go to output two and make sure it will say new layer with layer mask. And this will apply it as a layer with a layer mask. And then you just want to press okay. And that's pretty much it. We now have a nice cutout. If you want to see the results, you can get yourself a solid color underneath 